So if you don't own your copyright, um, you necessarily don't really have a right to the masters because you're basically transferred over your ownership. So essentially, if you sign a record deal today to transfer over the rights to your masters, then it's not even your job at that point to enforce the copyright if someone exploits it. That job is 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 basically the job of the person who's purchased the master. So you can't even really get upset and exploit it unless you're on your publishing. And that's that's a whole nother thing. You'll be able to, to enforce that side. But the, the master side would be for the person that owns the master or purchased the master or the person you assigned the master or the sound recording to. So it's always important to make sure, like we talk about, you're you understanding the value of your intellectual property. You're making sure it's in a fixed form and you're registering it because once you register, it, you're able to exploit and you're also able to enforce your rights of your master or your sound recorders if someone were to exploit it. How do we go about owning our masters officially? Is there an agreement we need to sign to get notarized? So this is how you go about it, right? The best way to prove that you have ownership of your sound recorders or ownership of your masters is filing a copyright. If you make a beat or you make a song, you already own that thing once it's in a fixed form. But officially, to own your masters, when you go in and you file a copyright, what you're doing is there's a form that allows you to file a copyright and you're now in control of the sound recording portion of it and the underlying composition portion. And you can register that all within one. You can actually go on a form and fill out up to 10 spaces uh, with different songs or beats or whatever, and you can own the sound recording and you can own the underlying composition. So the best way to make that make this official is to make sure that you're registering your copyrights because once you have copyright ownership, now you're in a position to really license out these different things, you know. And once you're able to license out these different things. If someone wants to take one of your licenses and use them without you even having an agreement with them, then you can enforce that. Like Legendary Deploy was saying, if someone wants to exploit you, what you own. However, if you don't file a copyright, you don't officially own your masters. You own them, but you don't officially own them because you can't really you know, enforce the right of someone that's exploiting them, if that makes sense. So the best way to officially own your masters is to actually go in, get you a copyright, and to make sure that you're owning not only just the sound recording side, but also you're owning um, the underlying composition. I hope that really helps.